Hi guys, how's it going? Got an interesting problem here. I'm going to hit the menu and go to the audio scope. And you can see that tone. I'm listening to the Breakfast Club on 3973. Now I've had this annoying tone in there for about three weeks. And I couldn't figure out where it was coming from. So I used the manual notch filter in the 7300 to eliminate it. Just using a narrow whip and positioning it right over that tone. I was able to live with it for a while, but I wanted to find out eventually where it came from. And I did. It came from my PC. It was a VGA cable going to my monitor. And a few weeks ago, I took a ferrite core off of that, used it for something else, and I forgot all about it. So this tone popped up, and I ran the Breakfast Club a few times just using the manual notch filter and then just today I realized uh, what my problem was but the radio got me by and I was able to run the breakfast club I've been able to listen to it uh, even with that annoying tone in there the ICOM 7300 does a fantastic job but of course it's always good to track down the real problem and fix it if you can I made another video on this same issue, except on 20 meters, and I use a manual notch filter. So I'll put a link to that video below. But there's a, a lot of good, uh, a lot of good uses for the notch filter, the auto notch filter, the manual notch filter, noise reduction, noise blanker. It all works good on the 7300. I was at the Hamvention and I saw the 7610 and boy that's a really nice looking radio. They told me that it would be out in September and the cost would be about $3,500. So we'll see what happens. In the meantime I'm going to be working on a pen adapter for the 7300 and getting it hooked up. So I'll do a video on that later. Alright, well I hope you find this video useful. If you like it, please like. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. 73 and good DX.